Alright, hello and welcome back everyone. It's the finale, hopefully, <laughs> of LEGO Racers. Um, we've got the final boss, if you like, Rocket Racer to beat, so let's build our final car. Well, maybe not our final car, but um, definitely the car that we will beat Rocket Racer with. I think we need a racing helmet for this one. Although, what did we get from um, good old Gypsy Moth? I don't think we got anything, did we? Oh, we got... I think we got that. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with uh, that helmet. I, I think we should just get the, uh, the good old racing helmet on for this. Once again, of course, uh, we're going to go for the robot head. But I do want to see if we got Gypsy Moth's head as well. I assume we did. We got a, an insectoid head, I think. I think that's what the aliens are called. Yeah, there we go. There's Gypsy Moth. Okay, so um, let's go back and find. Oh, I've lost it now. They all look so similar, some of them. Anyway, okay, I think we can get like an alien um, upper body bit. That'd be cool. Uh, that we got from our last fight. Yeah, I like that. Gypsy Moth's kind of midsection. Um. And for the legs, I don't know. Cool. Yeah, let's let's make it into this kind of <laughs> very very robotic alien cyborg guy. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is the final R9000 racer I'll probably be making. So R9007. There we go. Uh, snapshot. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's have it at that. He looks very happy. I'm very happy that we finally, uh, we're finally we're finally ne nearly through all the bosses. Not that I haven't enjoyed playing this game. It's been very fun making the episodes in there, but it's not over yet. We must um, we must strive to complete it. Oh, we get these blue bits. Uh, it, this is very similar to the um, the space stuff. Except, like, obviously, different stuff printed on it. Although we do get this thing. I'm not really sure what. I guess it's a kind of booster thing, but I don't think you can actually stick anything to the back of it. So, <laughs> I think you're supposed to be able to in the in the in the proper set, but uh, in, you know, in the real Lego set, but you can't in this. Right, let's let's stick this thing down. I have a feeling we should have lots and lots of rockets if we're going to beat Rocket Racer. Um, I think the only way to beat Rocket Racer probably is to have more rockets than he does. At least that's my theory. So let's just uh, try our try our best with that. Uh, mm, the parrot still refuses to be put on there. Is it because he's too tall or something? Maybe it's that. How about we try the parrot now? Please? Ooh. I think he will. Yeah! <laughs> Space parrot! Okay. Um, now let's go back to... Oh, the cat's meowing behind me. Um, yeah, let's go back to here and get these antennas. Just so we can get a, a stable Wi-Fi connection. So we can race without that. Um, one of those would look cool. Or well, several of those. Let's just stick them all on. <laughs> on top of these. There we go of these thruster things. Boop. And do we have any more? Any more panel looking things? Yeah, we'll get one from space over here. Space section. Yeah, that'll do. Let's plunk that down there. Now we need something to go in this hole here. Or we could just leave that open and put something over the top. I think that's what we'll do. 
Uh, we can go for a... Not any of those. Hmm. Let's go for a blue slope. Like this. Uh, yeah. Actually, I like that. Yep. That looks good to me. <laughs> okay. Right. Yep. That looks fine. <laughs> Let's go and do the last race. Okay. This is going to be interesting. There's only one circuit in this race, by the way, as I said last time. So w I have practiced, but we may need to do it again and again because it's so difficult. Here we go. Congratulations! You've proven yourself to be a true LEGO champion! But it's not over yet. There is someone waiting to meet you. I can't bother to think of a voice for her. Ooh. Okay. Here he is. Rocket Racer. At last, a worthy opponent. But if you want to be the best, you have to race me on my own track. Are you ready? I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> At the finish line? Wow. So yeah, he was a bit of a... bit of an annoyance, wasn't he? Uh, what a annoying guy. Let's get through the here, through this shortcut, because this is the only way we're going to win, by getting so many teleports. Um, you can see how far ahead he is already. I, I don't know what the deal is with this. But basically, you just have to cheat your way through. You have to grab as many teleports and as many goes through that little bit, that little shortcut that we just saw, um, as possible. Now, I've got here and there's no... I don't... Well, you have to have a red uh, brick to be able to get through it. That's the only way. And I didn't have one. So, there you go. There's my conundrum for that. Ugh. Now, I do apologise if I, I'm not... It's not as heavy on the commentary for these episodes. You're probably sighing in relief. <laughs> But I, I do have to try and concentrate to beat this guy. Now we are hot on his tail. And we might just be able to get through this shortcut here and... How is he still ahead? <laughs> I don't understand. I think everyone else just takes the teleports as well, so... People get ahead very quickly. Damn, I should have got both of those whites. Alright, thank you. Ooh, why is he first? <laughs> so Rocket Racer didn't... Did he actually win that one? I don't think he did. That's so weird. Alright, let's restart, shall we? So yeah, to my knowledge, it looked like... There was a different guy in the lead there, uh, who wasn't Rocket Racer, which was rather interesting. Now we are second because Rocket Racer's teleported in front of us. We do not want the blues on this track, or the yellows, just, they're just completely useless. Alright, teleport, and we're second. Ow, bumping into the side. Alright, come on. We're gonna get that teleport. Ah, no, we crashed. And... Rocket Racer's miles ahead. Okay. I do like the design of this track, though. It reminds me a lot of, um... Space stages in Sonic Adventure 2. The, um... Uh, the... 
So, uh, there. <laughs> the Knuckles and Rouge stages. Where you had to find the bits of the Master Emerald. Um, I still don't really get the science behind that because they actually managed to just, you know, breathe in space. Which was a bit weird. Um, and we didn't get the red again, so we're not having that shortcut. Yeah, they, they just. They were just out in space and they, they ran around collecting bits of the Master Emerald. But uh, I'm not going to question Sonic Logic. Um, mostly because it's one of my favourite games. <laughs> so there. Oh, and we're second again. I thought maybe we'd have a chance of um, winning that, but obviously not. Hopefully we get through with that teleport at the last second. I'm trying to kind of you know, make up as much time as possible by doing as many... Oh, come on. I'm just going to restart from there. By doing as many drifts as possible, you know, trying to drift around those sharp corners. Like so. And get through here. We're still first, but... Oh! <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it? Uh, I, I don't know how this even happens. Now, you would think, wouldn't you, that with me having a teleport and Rocket Race having a teleport, we would both end up in the same positions as we were before we both had our teleports. But no. No. Rocket Racer is ahead. Because he's Rocket Racer. Ah. <sighs> You can also activate it with uh, grappling hooks for some reason. I think he just took it as well. Let's try and get another white brick, shall we? That'll do. Oh gosh, why did we get this? Why did this happen? Why? <laughs> We're never going to catch up with that. Where did we get that from? We must have just landed on it when we came out of the teleport and we didn't get the brick there, so that's it's just impossible. Uh, yeah, we must have just landed on that weird possessy mummy thing when we came out of the teleport. That's, that was really annoying, because there was no chance we were going to avoid it. I guess that's the problem with having a teleport. I mean, even theoretically in real life, if if you were to teleport somewhere, there's no guaranteeing that you would end up in a, a place where there was a space for you to teleport to. I think that's been explored in a couple of science fiction novels and stuff. Or at least TV shows. Green, please. No. Okay, then. Ow! That hurt. Yes, please. Thank you. Now, if you can hear me bashing my space bar from time to time, it's because for some reason it's a little bit dodgy with picking up the uh, the times when I ask it to use an item. And nearly there. ah, there we go. See, he's going to teleport again now. Yep, I, th I think that was him gone. Incredible. Alright, moving on again. Oh, we're right behind him. Come on. Did, did you see that? He just disappeared. Oh, man. Fine, I'm coming after you. Oh, I'm first. Yes. Ah, slam the door on him. Yes, we won. Ha <laughs> ha. I wasn't expecting that. We did it! 30 points. Although that doesn't matter because we won. We won the game. <laughs> Shooting with rockets. Oh, just to rub salt in the wound there. So there we go. That's Rocket Racer finished. <laughs> Look at his eyes! <laughs> He's like, whoa! Congratulations! I knew you had it in you, mate! 
you're worthy of this prize. And these 2D streamers. You've won the Rocket Racer car set! Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we get credits? Yes we do! Okay, so I'll probably put like an annotation if you want to skip the end of these or something. Um, so, but yeah, I'll, now I'll talk about what I'm going to do next. Um, so I do have LEGO Races 2 as well, so since people do seem to have enjoyed this series, I guess I'll, I'll get on to that next, if people want, or um, I've got I can do Minecraft gameplay, um, Hawken, I play Hawken, Hawken's a good game, I could do some of that gameplay. So, you know, there's plenty of stuff to go at, there are more games as well, I said I'd start a Kerbal Space Program series, so that's coming up at some point. Um, so yeah, uh, leave in the comments whatever you'd like to um, me to do next, if, if anyone cares. <laughs> if not, if I don't get any comments, I will just do whatever. I'll, I'll just pick something. Um, yeah, I'll probably do LEGO Races too, unless anyone has any real objections. If you do have any, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> so yeah, um, LEGO Races 2 is interesting in that it actually gains this kind of overworld um, kind of I guess it's like a an exploration kind of thing where you have to go round and find the races. Um, you also lose bits off your car in Lego Races too. Um, oh, that's very nice. Special thanks to all of the children. Someone thought of the children, evidently. Um, yeah, and uh, there are there are voices in LEGO Races 2, if you can call them that. It's basically like um, Simlish, or whatever it's called, that, that Sims speak. Just gibberish, basically. So, yeah. Um, hopefully, I'll get on that next, LEGO Races 2. Um, so, tune in next time. Uh, if you've enjoyed uh, a rating, and a comment, and a favorite and a subscription any of those would be highly appreciated so thanks a lot guys and i'll see you next time <laughs>